You can create all kinds of freeform grading designs in Clip Studio Paint. Now I'm using the Pro version. First thing to do, create a layer. So go to Layer, and New Layer, and a Raster Layer. Click OK. Set the colour for your brush, and I'm just going with a brush tool. I'm going with Pen, and there's a lot of panels you need for this, as always with Clip Studio Paint. A lot of panels. Window, Tool, Subtool, Tool Property, Subtool Detail. Probably pretty useful. Now, it doesn't work with every single brush. I must admit, it's uh, one of those things that... Now, I'm not using an art pattern pen, so my polish is for slightly unusual shape. Uh, I could draw that with much more finesse if I did actually have that. Now, I've got my design here, and it can be any design. It can be all over the place. Actually, what you can also do is you can use other tools. You can use the figure tool. Go to the figure tool and create designs that way as well, which is probably more elegant than that. What you can then do is go over here to the Layers panel, and there's a little option here. Just a little option there. That's the second one. Click that. With that layer selected, it will, and you can see just about, that it's become a reference layer. It has become a reference layer, and now as a reference layer, I'm not going to do any more work to it. I'm just going to use that, but I'm going to reference to it. So a layer and raster layer there. So now I'm going to go over here to the colours and I'm going to go with green. And you can, this, you need to be, anti-aliasing needs to be off. Now it doesn't need to be off for this, the reference one particularly. You can use any of them. I just happened to accidentally use the wrong one. I could have just used standard medium there. But for this, for the green or any colour that you want to add to this new layer, needs to be turned off. Oh, also, another thing I better point out, brush size. If you go for a very, very tiny brush, it doesn't always seem to work, but you may, with experimentation, find it does work better. So then simply just drag across there, and also do not cross lines of reference layer. Now it does do that, it does actually go out. If you go outside, you can see straight away it does. But if you just do it inside and sort of there, you can draw it across. That's quite a good setting as well. And you can see there, you've got all the various settings there. Anti-aliasing turned off and anti-overflow do not cross. Then go over to another colour and you can create all kinds of shapes. Spiral designs, so you can do, and I'm just going to, or maybe a wavy design, just have it going all over the place. Maybe add, maybe a circle in there. And now sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't particularly work. I have done it a few times and you have to tweak it a bit. How about that? Just draw that. So I've got a design there. Now this gradient, these are the settings I've done there. Just going to go down to the actual gradient tool. There's the gradient tool. And then go for freeform gradient. Just go with the default. And this is in the sub tool. So I've selected that. Now you can use the other ones. They work pretty good as well. And simply just apply it. Just drag across as you do that, you can see what happens. It just goes to green, and you've got the colors, and you've got the lovely design there. However, it doesn't always exactly match what you want because I've done it. You can change the you've got here reference multiple. I've just got that one reference layer. You can change tolerance, you can just see that sometimes it's slightly different depending on that. You push it up to the max, so you can just try all the different settings. It's not a vast number, you've got fill, you've got various close gap. Now I find the close gap being turned off better. So if I turn that on and I go across there, you end up getting a lot of these sort of like bits going like that. So you have to, you can't always clear that. Also I've noticed sometimes if you go over, say I do this, and I'm just creating this design. Now if I do it again, if I go over, sometimes it can end up making a bit of a a mess. A repeat, apply. So it's always best to get it get straight away in one go, straight across. So again, I would suggest that, close gap off, but again, you might find it better, different settings. Now, once you've done that, well, what I'm going to do, go for the other ones as well, subtool, lightest shadow, and again, you've got there, you can see it's quite effective as well, and deepest shadow. And that creates slightly more unusual designs. All it is is settings over here, different settings. 
right so that's always and you can add your own tool as long as you've got your own settings for this tool you're happy with the settings then go with that so what you can then do got here let's just go for back to the standard one there and simply just apply it over there now all it is it's a layer just a standard layer what you can do you can go over here and you can merge the two so select that one you've got your reference one behind if you want the black line around it what you can do just go to a layer and you can then merge selected so it's all just one layer now and then you can apply effects so filter blur gaussian blur and the whole thing's blurred now you might not want that and you can undo maybe you don't want that layer at all so just remove it just you can delete it or just make sure it's not visible and then work with it and you can go to the move tool over here move layer just make sure you've got the right one there's the move layer and you can move it around and of course what you can do then you can apply effects to that so filters distort wave all those sort of effects can be applied very quickly to that design or you can go to filters and blur blur strong and so on and so on but also we need to transform it so edit and transform as well as modify the color so free transform do a whole load of different things there you can just change it click ok but you can also go to layer and let's say new correction layer that's the one i want and you can go for huge saturation and then you can see you can modify the colors which may be a bit garish up to you but you can see you can modify it and also what you can do you can duplicate it so layer it's just a standard layer so layer and duplicate layer so now i've got two and then of course what i can do i've got blending modes so i can go for lighten and so on so on so you can create a whole number of different combinations as well as of course difference glow etc now also what you can do so you've got this design i'm just going to remove this now let's just go through all these and just delete them delete because you can also use these tools as well so i'm just going to quickly go over here rectangle so this rectangle and i'm going to set the size i'm going to set them to black however what you need layer you still need a new layer so layer new layer now you could do it vector layer i think that's fine as well but raster layer do it raster layer click OK and create a quick circle a uh, rectangle even <laughs> something like that so you've got this design now you can't well you can so I'm just going to do it straight line you can use the straight now this is obviously I want this to be a reference now so I'm just going to quickly go again up here you can turn that into a reference so it becomes a reference layer again you can just sit there and now create another layer so layer rest of layer click OK and you can use these tools as well you can use brushes of course with it as well perfectly reasonable just to go back to the brushes but you can also go say the curve however there is an issue here because you'll notice there is no option for making certain it doesn't go over the edge and that is a slight issue but not a mega issue but you you will see that it is a slight issue but you can obviously just position it just like that now obviously i've got black there but but you could do different color but it doesn't it's not so of see what happens you end up with this edge which you may may not want but of course you can tweak it you've got anti-aliasing you can set that as well you've got other options here starting end etc you can vary in all kinds of ways and you go for the straight line and simply apply but again you've always got that problem you're going to be slightly over the edge you can change the color now go for green vary the size up to you again you can do all kinds of different shapes maybe you can change the color go for blue but you will end up with a slight bit of imperfection but you can of course just change just be very careful just to put it just about there so it's not so bad and then again go back to the free form and you can apply it just quick because that's the trouble you end up with this but of course it's still there of course if you go and remove the reference layer so if i just clear that so you can see it 
you've still got that edge, which is not perfect. However, I, I wonder if, so let's just draw that. Maybe you could, maybe selections. So you would avoid that edge. I don't know, I haven't tried it. So let's just do a selection. We'll just do a selection on that layer and then go to the this. I haven't tried this, so I don't know. That still goes, still got that over the edge. But however, what you can do, of course, is Control C, Control V, create another layer, and then you have got that design. Deselect, of course, deselect, and you've got that design. So that's a way around it. It's a bit of an awkward way, just using selections to make certain you uh, end up with your design. But you can see you can also remove it, remove that one, and you've got your gradient design now, hmm, sort of, with a slight bit there. But it's near enough. So you can use the other tools, but it's just a pity that the that tool does not have that crossover feature for some weird reason. Seems to be a slight odd feature to myself. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time, so uh, please check those out. And uh, a dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.